Hey Cancer, I'm Rena Wells and I'm here to do your Sun, Moon and Rising reading, love reading for Twin Flames for December 1st to the 15th. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I know there's something here for you because I totally play Law of Attraction. So make sure you check things out and don't forget to like and subscribe and my returning tribe and my subscribers, you know, I always hold a special place in my heart so that we can really expand and bring consciousness to this planet and change the world because that's what I'm all about. All right. <laughs> All right, Cancer, this is, uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do Sun, Moon, and Rising, but Spirit really pulled me to do it, and um, there's a whole new vibration that's been coming in for me as well, so I'm going to be starting a, a brand new podcast. I know you guys are on the Journey Home Show. Um, watch out for that. I'm going to be, actually, I'm going to be doing an announcement separately from that, but anyways, let's just get started. I can't do logical stuff while I'm thinking. We're going to do the gypsy spread, okay? This spread was given to me. You're not going to find it anywhere on YouTube. It was passed down by a very old gypsy lady who did tarot when I was eight years old. She saw me at the cottage, and she's like, come, child. <laughs> That's basically what happened. She's like, you are so psychic. Come, sit with me. I will show you to do tarot. <laughs> and she showed me how to use my energy, and she was amazing. Amazing woman. I wish, if you're watching this, bye. <laughs> All right, this is Sun, Moon, and Rising for Cancer. Please spare from December 1st to the 15th. Please bring down the blueprint for the twin please. Thank you. This is for the collective. This is a general read, guys. Again, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one coaching, just know if you do want coaching, I will catalyze you. I will bring up a lot of darkness in you. If darkness is sitting in you and you haven't healed things, I will bring that up. So if you are to work with me, you've got to truly be of a warrior spirit, okay, guys? People sometimes start working with me and then they can't handle it. But if you're brave enough, hit me up, all right? I will give a free coaching session. Uh, if you want to do a free coaching session, please fill out the application form. I do not accept everybody, okay? I will be able to tell if you're ready for uh, this type of work. All right. And please don't take it to heart if I don't accept you. I have to go by what spirit is guiding. I'm just a messenger. All right, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 1st to the 15th for all twin flames. And if you would like a reading, take a look down below. What was that? Did you guys see that? Things fly around me all the time. Oh, angels. I had a dream about an angel last night. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So we're all taking up right here. So we just move some of this out of the way. So Cancer, feeling a little trapped, are we? So we have the eight of swords is a mental entrapment. That means it's a good thing. That means that you actually have the keys to let yourself free, right? But this is, you're blinded to it, right? Right? You're in a lot of pain here, mental anguish, mental pain. You want to move forward and and give love, okay? I'm going to, sorry, my light is off today. I'm not using my regular camera. Um, you want to give love and offer love to somebody from the past. And we have a soulmate card, someone from the past that is showing up in your vibration quite a bit, Cancer, Okay. Right now, you're looking at 10 of pentacles, looking at your family, looking at stability, looking at your coin, looking at your money, looking at your finances, all right? Let's take a look and see. We put the masculine energy on top of the feminine because that's how it goes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Let's take a look. What is going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? Thank you, Spirit. What's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? Thank you, guys. And don't forget to like, guys. It really helps, eh? Just send it. Just hit a like. It really helps get my message around. And if you want to know more about me, just take a look at my website, RenaWalls.com. Um, lots of great testimonials of people that I've worked with. Amazing, amazing. I love all my clients. Everyone's so amazing. All right. Let's take a look what is going on for cancer. So this, again, like I said, I haven't done this a while on the, on the channel, and I was really pulled to do it. It's one of my favorites. I love it. We read the cards in every way, which way, all right? And what happens is I read from the inside out, okay? So it's all the energies that are happening predominantly from the center and the ripple effect of what's happening outside. That actually happens to you as well. Um, when you do healing really deep from the inside, it ripples out, okay? Creating your manifestation in your physical world. So, oh, goodness me, let's put that down just a little bit. So, um, I know the lighting is not the best. I'm sorry, guys. 
I'm working on a studio. I'm building a studio. <laughs> so <laughs> with the, the proper lighting and the whole bit, but it's going to take me some time. We've got masculine and feminine energies here. You are connected. So you're not in like, and I feel it's more telepathy. The heads are coming together. Okay. So it's more intuitive and telepathy. The main energy that's happening right now in this connection for December 1st to the 15th is there is a reconciliation or balance and balance. We've got temperance underneath. So that's the main energies that's happening right now is um, the balance. Okay. Compassion, the kindness and holding that, that space. And then we have the ace of cups that's right on top, which is, you know, God's offer, spirit's offer of like a divine love of what that really is and bringing that forward. Masculine energy here for cancer is really feeling this offer here and balance and wants to take a new direction. Want to take this leap of faith. Sorry, guys. I hope I should just do it that way. I don't know. Oh, I struggle so much with my lighting, and I, I've tried so many different things, and I'm sorry. We're going to have to just deal with it right now. That's probably better. So see how masculine energy is here, right? And there's this offer of this beautiful divine love. We've got feminine energy here. The heads are together. So I feel it's a lot of telepathy that's happening. And this love that's happening here is really heading and directing the masculine towards a brand new beginning to take a leap of faith. But masculine energy here is sitting here connected to divine feminine, but also pulled away from divine feminine. Okay. So really in a hermit mode, what's happening here. Okay. Divine feminine is kind of sitting here on the outskirts and really trying to hold this place of like balance and patience, but, and through her patience and kindness for herself, she's actually gone into hermit mode as well. So both parties have definitely gone within and are doing some really deep inner work. Okay. And that's really beautiful, but you're really connected in, in the mind and not in the mind, in the, in the gut. Okay. Uh, telepathy doesn't happen in the mind. <laughs> telepathy actually happens down in your gut. Okay. We, and, and, if, and as you're doing work, especially if you work with me, I take you out of head and mind duality because I'm telling you guys, it's not living from the heart. Any teaching out there tells you live from the heart. I tell you to run the hell away from that because your heart is in the center of your body. It's going to feel ego emotions, it's going to feel God's emotions, okay, spirit's emotions that comes through you. And you're going to get all confused in here. You got to get down into your gut. You got to get down honest about authenticity. And, and through authenticity is the only way that you're going to know the truth of divine truth, right? So here, what we've got here is a lot of entrapment here, what's going on with cancer, wanting to move forward to a soulmate, all right? Um, but not quite able to right now because still uh, things are on hold, right? Still going in and, and saying, you know what, I got to still go within. So let's take a look at, look, we've got justice on the bottom too. So making some just right decisions could be legal matters that are happening right now, but um, really making a, a decision in how to move forward. But let's clarify and see what is going on with the Divine Masculine with this Ace of Cups because that's so beautiful. What is going on with Divine Masculine with the Ace of Cups? Three of Cups, so really looking at like a reunion, okay? What is this Three of Cups here? Yeah, so waiting for this, okay? So we've got three, three, could be third-party situation that you're dealing with, could be a karmic situation um, that you're dealing with. If that's the case, um, it most likely is the case, let's just be honest, but um, here it's like, looking ahead, right? Looking ahead, planning, how am I going to move forward to this reunion? I want friendship. I want, but I want a celebration. Um, I want to come together with divine feminine and offer this love for a new beginning, but not quite sure how to exactly do that right now. And really looking and waiting about that. Okay. So let's clarify this love that's now leading because divine masculine is really feeling this love and really looking at how to move forward in um, taking a leap of faith. How is this love, this ace of cups leading towards the fool and taking a leap of faith? What is happening here for divine masculine? I need a couple more. Yeah. Okay. So really wanting victory and success after the hard work. So divine masculine here um, is really doing a lot of hard work. Look at this. Oh my God reconciliation we have the just uh judgment with the wheel of fortune so dealing with karmic situations is really going to be a renewal the the wheel is turning in in favor for a divine masculine to go into this new direction okay so if you are a divine masculine you're watching this just take the leap of faith right like spirit is on your side you've got judgment renewal of self renewal of your spirit renewal of your life um and trusting that karma is being played out here the wheel is turning in your favor and that you are going to have victory and success this is just a, the brunt work of what you're doing the darkness you have to go to war first kind of thing you know this is coming back after you know being out of war being out being abandoned being out in the cold being you know 
fighting things in your life, um, ending cycles in your life, but you will be victorious. That's coming home to a victory. Okay. That's really beautiful. So divine masculine is really in a uh, hermit mode. Let's clarify that emperor. Okay. Really looking at his coin. Okay. Divine masculine, king of pentacles, really looking at the coin right now. Emotion. Wow. What? I've got three kings. That never happens. Okay. You guys, I mean, unless you, I mean, unless you are in like a seven party situation <laughs> or something crazy like that, I'm sorry if you are, by the way, um, I don't know what that's like, but I'm sorry if you really are. Um, this is really the masculine maturing. Okay. Really coming into an emperor place, going within. Okay. Clarifying the hermit here, going within looking at the emotions, okay, holding emotions back, being a divine masculine in the emotion, being very focused and getting a lot of clarity as they're going within, gaining enlightenment as the deeper that they're going inside to gain the clarity of this situation and the coin and the stability. So these, I mean, the only thing that's missing is the king of wands. I mean, should I shuffle just to see what pops out? Spirit, can you give us a little bit more? Because I feel this is all coming into divine masculine energy because just like the divine feminine, divine feminine is all the queens in the deck, right? She's the queen of wands, the queen of swords, the queen of pentacles, the queen of cups. And so is the divine masculine, all the kings, right? So I'm not even seeing any pages here. So this is amazing. And I'm the only knight that I'm seeing is action and knights are action oriented. So really just taking action to come forward to like give uh you know an offer of love here to somebody from the past and a soulmate connection for family stability uh and wanting that type of um whoops stability whoops <laughs> yeah so let's clarify just a little bit more spirit with the three kings here queen of cups okay so yeah really a, a counterpart here of love. Okay. King and queen of cups are so beautiful. They're emotional. They're telepathic. Okay. Because that's how you speak is through your gut and through the emotion. That's what comes out, right? That's the channel. It's Kundalini that comes up. So this is, uh, the minds are together. The feelings are together. Divine masculine, divine feminine are feeling each other. Divine masculine re is recognized that when he feels something, he's actually feeling her as well. So that's how deep this connection is. So they're really going in masculine's going in and looking the mental, the heart, the stability. They're looking at all the chakras right now of what's happening with the feminine energy. And that's why they've gone in. Okay. Holding a really balanced place here. How is the divine masculine towards the divine feminine? Okay. Closed off, right? Totally closed off because I mean, look at the work that they're doing here, right? But hanging on to the divine feminine, hanging on to the energy and wanting to move towards them. Okay. So Let's clarify the six of swords. Is that leaving divine feminine or no, moving towards union? Yeah, moving towards something solid with divine feminine. We've got the four of wands. Okay, and quickly too, eight of wands. Okay, Cancer. So really recognizing you're closed off to this right now, but you're hanging on to divine feminine. That's what the masculine is doing and say, I really want to move towards this union. I want to move to something more divine in my life. Let's see what divine feminine towards the divine masculine Divine feminine towards the divine masculine. Oh, why is it so sticky all of a sudden? Ooh. Wow, divine feminine. Did you end it with your masculine? Well, that looks like what happened, right? Betrayal, right? Holding back, holding strength, holding your 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 per persevering your pers preservation of yourself, right? So you're ending things because things may have been toxic. Um, holding strength, taming your ego in this, right? And learning how to hold yourself back and how to be um, very strong in this position. This divine feminine is a very strong warrior spirit. Clarify that divine feminine towards divine masculine. Yeah, because it could be third party situation. Again, we got a lot of threes in this reading, guys. Okay, so um, a lot of threes. This is also, you know, the sword in between. Something's coming between the divine connection and um, it's heartbreaking. And divine feminine's like, mm, I'm going to hold back. I'm pulling back from this. Yeah. Okay, let's clarify this a little bit deeper. And then we're going to go into the extended guys, the extended. I don't do extended that you can buy separately. My extended is a monthly offer. Uh, it's what you do is you get all the extension on YouTube, but you also get downloadable um, uh, meditation. Sorry, when I have to think logically, it's hard for me when I'm so tapped in. Um, 
Anyways, all the information is down below. You can try it. No obligation. Cancel it after a month. Not a problem. When you do sign up, just keep the email of the receipt. Make sure because there is a way that you can cancel it from the email that comes to you. It's all automatic, right? Again, you can always email me if anything. All right. So let's clarify here a little bit more of the entrapment. And then we're going to get some healing messages. The Eight of Swords being trapped. Being trapped and not being able to offer anything passionately right now, we have the Page of Cups with the Ten of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Eight of yeah, Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands here. So what's happening here is feeling completely trapped, okay, wanting to passionately move forward in action and offer here, okay, and to communicate, um, but still in a lot of apathy, looking at what they've lost because they know that they have to walk away from something. And we have the Six of Swords here too, right? Want, knowing that they have to walk away before they can offer divine feminine a soulmate someone from the past this is someone returning from the past clarify the king of cups with the six of yeah things are hidden right now okay using intuition and someone could be stalking you on social media could be um but this is also an abrupt type of communication so i feel like things may come to a head a secret may come out and then boom communication and everything starts to happen okay so really what I'm seeing for December for cancer is there's still a lot of inner work. The masculine is really coming into a place of emperor energy. Um, and divine feminine is really looking at um, holding herself back and moving towards new beginnings as well. Let's clarify divine feminine moving towards a new beginning. Yeah, this is, you know, dealing with her own inner conflict of moving without the masculine, right? You know, I got to go. I got to kind of do this on my own, right? Having some inner conflict there but becoming illuminated of it. So that's great because if you're illuminated to something, that means that you can change it. That means you can heal it. That means you can move forward. That means you can give it to spirit. So that's really amazing. So divine feminine are really moving in a new direction, holding peace and compassion, not necessarily waiting for her masculine, but allowing anything to come in and, and working through her own internal conflicts of what's happening there. All right, guys, you know what? I forgot to do a healing message for you guys. So here's the healing message. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here's the healing message for you guys. This is for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is the healing message for Cancer Ascendant and Rising December 1st, 15th, please. And remember, guys, take a look at all the other zodiac signs that make up your chart, okay? It's really important. It's not just the sun sign. What is the healing message here for Cancer Ascendant and Rising, please? Thank you. Wow, this is such a divine connection. So, yeah, you guys are definitely on a twin flame journey. This was, you know, you were created together. You know, your cells were totally created together. And um, this is a real, it's number eight, which is abundant, which is eternity, which is infinity, which is forever. And um, see how she's holding the lotus there? Really beautiful that things are starting to blossom. Things are starting to come into illumination. So, Sorry, guys, I just I just stopped the camera, cleared off the tarot, and then I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot to do the card, the healing card. So just know that if you are on the Twin Flame journey, this is a divine connection. It is protected. So just keep moving forward, okay? Keep doing your inner work. The more that you do your inner work, the more that you're going to manifest in your physical world. Bye guys. All right, guys, that was your reading. I would love to hear your comments, especially about the spread. And again, if you want the extension, just sign up for the, for the membership down below. If you would like to work with me, all that info is down below and, um, so much love to you guys. Bye. Uh -huh.